Hello everybody, how's it going? I just finished watching that new Netflix documentary with Abercrombie and Fitch. So for my scent of the day, I threw on Fierce. Now this fragrance to me still smells super sexy. I will say this isn't a scent I recommend to overspray just because even though it's a fresh and clean one, this can get really headache inducing and nauseating. I feel like if you overspray this fragrance, even as you as the wearer, might kind of get tired of it, but this will definitely affect other people around you. And I think that's where a lot of the negative sort of associations with this fragrance comes. It's just like young adults, like college students, high school students back in the day, just overspraying themselves with fears to a point where people just wanted to vomit because it was just way too much. But with the right amount of sprays, this thing still smells really good. I did about five sprays and my scent bubble is really nice. This is a fragrance that when you go to hug somebody, they could smell it on you. And it has, it's, I, for me, people notice it when they're like an arm's length away from me. It does have a pretty nice scent trail, but I guess if you wanted to overspray this, do it when you're in an open place like the beach or something like that where people have air to breathe. I wouldn't do it in a club or something like that or where it's, packed or if you're going to be indoors with people just because yeah this thing can be a lot which is unique for a freshie to do that where because usually fresh fragrances you overspray them it's fine but with this one I would just advise against that now how does this smell kind of hard to say because it doesn't have a particular like when I smell this I'm not like oh there's lemon in this fragrance even though there is you know what I mean just like this aquatic lemony i know there's some cardamom in this fragrance as well just like a think of like a, a lemon tree leaf just a little bit in the opening at least but it's definitely a sexy kind of fragrance and it dries down a little bit musky but it's a clean musk so is this a fragrance that i would suggest wearing in the spring and the summertime absolutely like when the sun is out and you've got this fragrance on i think it smells great and yeah, it's it's definitely not as overworn as it once was 10 to 15 years ago. So if you're just looking for a nice scent that is mass appealing and you're new to fragrances and you want something that's just really safe that you're going to enjoy and other people around you will enjoy, this is a good one to go for. Um, with ladies' reactions, this is pretty solid as well. When I've worn this, girls just really love it. They're like, oh my god, and, but they know that it's Abercrombie and Fitch, at least the ones my age and older, they're like, yeah, I know that scent, you know, but it's not the kind of reaction of, oh my gosh, that's too nostalgic to a point where it's off-putting, because this brand has definitely done some very controversial things, but yeah, still the smell has a chokehold on a lot of people, but yeah, just be tasteful with the amount that you do of it, and I don't know, have fun. Yeah, this is, is this a fragrance I would wear to work? Like recommend for an office fragrance? I mean, you can, but to me, it just like screams summer in a beach. You know what I mean? It just, it's just such a fun type of fragrance. It's a sexy type of fragrance. I would see it more on like a day date versus wearing it every day in the office. How, like, even though you can pull it off in that sort of environment, you know? So it does have the versatility, but I think it just skews more towards like after work when you're trying to party or if you're going to a bonfire or if it's like summer break or spring, like spring break, things like that. So anyways, Fierce by Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know if I mentioned though, the longevity that I get with this fragrance on clothes longer than six hours, but with skin and clothes, I actually, it, it is around that six hour mark for me. Um, but on skin alone, I would say it goes like it's, it's about five and definitely closer to your scent bubble. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna put a link in the description for this one in case you're trying to get it at a discounted rate. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.